Hi everyone, this is Drew here at Card of My Eye. Today I have a quick product review of the So Easy um, tool by We Are Memory Keepers. This is a brand new product that was released at CHA Winter 2011, and it is an awesome tool that I want to go over with you guys. So this is what your tool is going to look like when you purchase. This is the base tool. You're going to need this for everything you do, and it's going to have a dark gray handle with a cushion grip that is a light gray color. And then you're going to have your head. It's going to have the We Are Memory Keepers branding down here. And down here at the very bottom, you're going to have a little opening piece that flips open and it stores your needles. So as you can see, I have different needles in there. These are all the So Easy needles. And I purchased an extra pack of needles. So the tool comes with one needle itself. But you will need to purchase extras if you'd like them. And it also comes with one head, and this is a straight stitch head, as you could probably tell. It has all of the design that you're going to get on the labeled on the head, which I love. And then you can see that you're going to have this rolling wheel inside your head that has different spiky little um, pop-outs. And they're little uh, spiky pieces. And all you do to re-change your heads is you're going to turn it once to the left and pull up. Just like, um, just like this. And to insert it, you're going to insert it more, um, not straight down. You're going to insert it more to the left, put it down, and twist it once to the right. And so that is the straight stitch head, as you could probably tell. There is also the zigzag head. And I'll show you the zigzag head. That's the zigzag head. There's also the burst head. You also have the scallop head. The cross head. This is a blanket stitch head. And last but not least, the hem head. So these are all of the different tiles of heads that are available right now for you guys to purchase. It comes There are um, seven different heads at the moment. And you're going to receive this one with your actual machine itself. And then um, the other ones are purchased separately. And so those are the different heads. And we, we, there's also another product. And I am going to go over these. These are the So Easy Floss. And they come in multiple colors. I have all of the colors here to show you guys. Um, you have your purples, the red, orange, green, pink, blue. Um, this is browns, grays aqua and um, yellow so there are a total of 10 different colors color families and there's three colors on each and you get 8.7 yards of each um, color so you get approximately nine yards of each color so there's 30 different colors um, released at the moment but they'll probably be coming out with more colors um, and those are those and now I'm gonna zoom out to show you guys um, another product that you could purchase as well. This is the uh, piercing mat from We Are Memory Keepers. Again, it corresponds with the tool itself. And it is a um, 13 by 7 and 3 quarter inch mat that measures or that is a width of about 3 eighths of an inch. And it's a foam mat. So as you can see, it's nice and squishy. It's a foam mat. And it has a grid pattern on the front. And now we can get into showing you how to use the tool itself. So let's say you wanted to sew on a piece of cardstock or you had two different layers. You want to do a zigzag to attach them both together or whatever you want to do. I just have a scrap piece of cardstock here that I'm going to show you how to use or how to do this on. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. Okay. And let's just do the straight stitch itself um, just because it's the easiest. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start by pressing here. And you can see how I have my um, grip on this tool. I'm going to press down in the foam to start. Just press it down and you're going to roll it down your piece. And as you can see, it does a really straight line. Um, it perfectly does a straight line. You don't have to use a ruler at all. Wherever you press it down, that's going to, that's where it's going to go. So I'm going to press it down, roll it, and it's going to create a perfectly straight line um, of holes for you. So that is what this head does. Of course, other different heads have different um, pokey settings or whatever you want to call these. I call them little pokey things, but um, they have other um, pieces that stick out that create different patterns when you do the different stitches. And on the back of the packaging, this one happens to be the hem head here, came in this packaging. It actually shows you um, the different stitches that you can create using that one head. So it's not just limited to the one that is on the 
the actual printed head itself. So then I'm going to open up my little storage compartment and I love this about this tool because I'd so be losing these needles everywhere. They probably should have not included this so you could lose them and then just buy some more. They could sell more product. I'm just joking you guys. And so I'm just going to use some purple thread because I had that one open already and I'm just going to pull off a little bit of it. Oh, I'm just doing 12 inches just for the sample, but of course you'd probably need a little bit more the, um, for your actual project. And you're just going to thread your needle with your so easy um, embroidery floss. And this is like a silky embroidery floss. It's a lot nicer quality than a normal embroidery floss. At least I find it is. I like it more. It's a lot softer and it goes through your holes without snagging um, anything. So I'm just going to overdo it like this. If you could see, I just have a little bit of a strand hanging out. And I'm going to go into my first hole, and I'm just going to start down here. And I'm actually going to pull it up through the back, because you're going to want your... Um, always start from the back and push up, because you're going to want your excess thread and knotting to be on the back of your project. And I'm going to go down my first hole here. So I'm just going to push it down the first hole. And pull this all the way down. As you can see, I have a first my first stitch in there. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up the second hole. Or more like the third hole. And from the back, I'm going to come up it. And I'm going to go back down my um, second hole. So I just went up the third hole. From the back, I went up the third hole and down the second hole. And as you can see, you have two different stitches here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back up the third hole and go into the fourth hole just like this and then I'm going to go back or no back through the up through the fifth hole here and it kind of does take a little bit of pressure it does the, the, the thing itself actually just really scores it it sometimes makes marks but it doesn't do them deep enough to where you push it through unless you really press hard and basically, you're just going to go, after you're in the back here, you're going to go one up from the back, or one up, and then you're going to go down. And then you're going to flip it over, and go through the back, and down. And then you're going to go back through that hole, up, and down. So you really just have to practice around with your different heads and the different st stitching options, but it's a lot um, bigger and wider than if you do a machine stitching because you can't actually stitch with an embroidery floss, which is nice because I like it gives a more dimensional um, address or attention to your um, card itself or project. And then all I'm going to do to finish it off is you're going to stick it through one of the loops just like that. And you're going to you're going to have this little extra loop here. If you can see how I have this little extra hanging off loop, you're just going to stick your thread through that loop and pull it through, and then just do that a couple of times. And this is a half hitch knot that you're going to be creating to secure that thread in place. And after it's nice and secure, you could just trim off the excess, and then you just thread your needle onto this side and do the same thing as well. And you're going to have a really nice stitched. Um, little piece here or whatever project you're going to work on if you're going to have a nice stitching line. So I hope this helped out with using the So Easy tool and a couple of the other products that you could purchase with the um, So Easy tool itself. So thank you so much for watching everyone and I hope you comment, rate, and subscribe. All you have to do is click right up there to subscribe and have a great day. Bye everyone.